But injury-wise, only one was Cheeto. He left with a groin, did not return. So we'll see what that looks like next week. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it's I've, I've not done a good enough job. We're an 0-3 football team. I'm an 0-3 head coach. It's embarrassing and disappointing. Uh, I've got to be a lot better than I've been, and this is uh, frustrating and unfortunate and, and not what I thought we were capable of to start the season. And at the end of the day, I uh, can't continue to have turnovers like that on offense, even though uh, you know, we had seven more points to another team, and they did a great job possessing the football. You know, We only got three possessions in the first half, and we scored on one of them. Uh, we threw an interception for pick six on the other, and the other two we went three and out. And we're not consistent enough anywhere uh, uh, offensively. Uh, we allowed too many explosives on defense. We still haven't got a turnover. Um, I think we're probably going to be um, dead last in the turnover margin by a long shot at this point, and that's going to lose you a lot of football games in the NFL. We're not good enough on either side there. We don't protect it well. We don't take it away. Um, you know, we allowed a lot of we had too many yards rushing. We had some tackling issues early. We settled down and then um, had to get in a drop back situation at the end of the game in the second half as we didn't find much success on the ground versus a good front. and, and uh, you know, the eight sacks was a result. So ultimately not good enough anywhere. So Petit Frere was not injury related? It was not. What happened on, on little pick six just got sped looking at the guy for too long last night? Uh, I mean, it, was, it wasn't that he wasn't really late. It just, uh, Jair jumped it. Um, he made a nice play. That's a that's an all pro corner. And he he jumped the route and took a chance on it and, and made a really nice play. Um, timing wise, it wasn't anything wrong with it. He just sat on it. And um, that happens sometimes. So. That's not something I'm mad at Will about. I thought everything there was, was fine. He just uh, he just made a good play. That's the second week in a row, Jay uh, Sometimes they're overloaded, other times, you know, with other things. From your perspective, what was going on there? Uh, everything. Um, you know, we, we tried to keep guys in to help. We tried to keep seven and eight in protection. Some of it was good. Some of it didn't work as well. Uh, we lost some one-on-ones. That's ultimately what happened a few times. Um, you know, we got ourselves in some third and longs in a spot where I, I didn't feel like just calling a quick game on third and 14 just to get the ball out. I was trying to be competitive. The game wasn't over. Um, and so we were in some tough spots for pass protection in general. When you're in third and 12 and 13 and 14, it's, it's difficult. Try to call a couple screens, and, and those didn't work. Those didn't get off. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's frustrating. Second week in a row, Jeff's had a, a penalty that ended up costing you seven points. Are those both discipline issues? I don't think so. I, I don't. I was. I was surprised that they called that. I haven't seen that call very often. I didn't. You know. Again, they call what they call, and they see how they see it. Um, but yeah, that was a big momentum shift. We had them off the field with a missed field goal, and um, you know that's what it is. We we can't have those are critical penalties. That's two weeks in a row. Again, I can't attribute those to discipline. I was surprised that it got called, and it is what it is. But those are the mistakes that we're making right now, and we just can't quite find a way to create ourselves a break. Um, and in this league, you make your own breaks, and we haven't made any of them. And that, that's a hard thing to swallow. Sorry, in two years here, uh, in his time here, Malik never has looked anything close to that. Mm -hmm. uh, what's it say about your defense that he's capable of looking like that? Yeah, Malik did a nice job. I tip a cap to Malik and, and uh, that offensive coaching staff. You know, we, we let them get into a position in the game that was beneficiary to them. And they made a couple of nice throws. Malik's a very capable quarterback. I think you guys saw his improvement here over the course of training camp. Um, he is capable, and uh, they had him in a good spot most of the game. He didn't, they didn't have to do a lot. They ran the ball well, and uh, he made a couple big throws, which, again, any, every NFL quarterback should be able to make, and uh, he did a nice job, so we didn't do a good enough job. He's capable, but you guys judge him to only be worth a, a seventh-round pick. Mm -hmm. So uh, for a guy that you judge to be worth th th that little, should he be able to do that? And he was doing stuff to you before – the game was at hand, first, sure. second drive. He yeah, he played well. I don't really have anything else to add to that. He, he's, I think Malik's a, a good football player, and he, they did a nice job with him. That fourth down play at the start of the third quarter, was that designed for Will to keep it, or did something break down and kind of? No, it was just, it was a roll pass, and it was a little, it was a little high low. Uh, he had a shot to, to come back. We'd call it low, high, low, where you take the low first, check the high, and then come back. And, you know, Tony was there. He made a decision, thought he could get it. Um, I couldn't quite tell where he was at, where I was standing. I was behind the play. Um, but yeah, I felt like we had, I thought we had a chance on the first one too. They called timeout right at the snap. I thought that one was going to be a good play. And they called timeout right as we were snapping the ball, unfortunately. So uh, I was trying to get a spark. I was trying to get us going. Uh, I didn't want to just punt the ball. And once I saw it was fourth and one and a half, I felt like that was a distance we could, we can go for it. And uh, it was aggressive, but you know, we needed something to get moving and, and get back in the game. So uh, our defense did a decent job. They held up and, and only gave up three. So I don't regret it. I don't regret the call. Um, I just, Missed opportunity. Yeah, on the scoring ground, you, you see a lot of 
defense tackles. Um, mm -hmm. How much of a factor do you think that ended up being? Well, it was huge in the first half. They just just felt like we never, you know, we never really had the ball early. Um, they chewed up a bunch of yards and clocked with some missed tackles. Um, that's certainly a, too many rushing yards, too many tackles, too many missed tackles. I think at the end of the day, for us to, you know, for for a team that we knew was going to play like that, just didn't come out and execute well enough. And again, I, we had a good week of practice. I was confident in how these guys looked and the plan looked, and uh, felt really good about where we were coming into the game. And and so far, we're uh, we're over, and that's. Um, that's not something that I anticipated. How much did, Mike, did Malik's uh, ability to convert on third downs there, especially in the first half, uh, hurt, the, hurt you guys in the defense? Yeah, those are critical. I mean, you get him in a third down situation, he did a few with his legs, he did a nice job. Um, that's, what, that's what he's done. That's how, he, that's how he's played well in the league, is using his, using his legs and doing that, and he did a good job. And we couldn't get off the field, and it allowed him to chew up clock and chew up time. And um, again, they did a nice job. Brian, how would you categorize that as being aggressive and trying to make a play or a stupid mistake? Oh, I think that was just normal. That was just a normal throw. I mean, we just threw a, a hitch route to the boundary, and Jair jumped it. And, uh, you know, if those things happen, and if you feel like the corner's that aggressive to it, you can move on. But that, was, that wasn't a stupid mistake at all. Actually, you know, Will did some really good things in this game. I thought um, we just got to do more of it, and we got to do a better job protecting them. So Even though you're not forward, you're uh, still firmly put on him being your Oh yeah, there's nothing. I mean, we we got to play better around them. Um, again, I'm not going to overreact to an interception. Those things happen. Guys throw picks. It, it's just we just can't give it to their team. We we keep giving up points the other way. It's it's killer. It's hard to overcome. Um, we've not played a complete game in any phase at any point yet. Uh, we're capable of way better than what we put on on the field the last three weeks. And um, you know, no one's coming to save us. So we got to figure it out. Even Close though, even runs. though nobody, you know, no, not everybody's putting it all on Will. What do you say to him with all the, the turnovers that the rash of turnovers that have happened over the first three games? We got to get it fixed, um, and how, whatever that looks like, however that looks, it doesn't doesn't really matter. Um, he just can't. We we can't lead the league in turnovers at the quarterback position and, and expect to win a lot of games. And so that part uh, has got to get better. When you go down on a laundry list of all the issues that you brought up and you said not really good enough anywhere. Uh, as a head coach, where do you start at trying to get this thing back on the right track? Um, we got to do we got to do the fundamental things right. Uh, we got to tackle well. We got to protect the football. Um, we got to find a way to take it away. Uh, we got to pass protect better than we have. Um, you know, our defense has played pretty good through three weeks, but they had a day some moments today that I don't think is up to their standard. So uh, it's fundamental things. It's standing staying in gaps and making tackles and Protecting the football, and we'll start there, and, okay. and hopefully that looks better. What would you, you, on the squad drive, what would you say the disconnect has been between the Petit Frere you saw making progress in training camp and the guy who's been struggling these last couple of weeks? Yeah, um, don't know. I don't know what the disconnect is. I, I felt like he had a pretty good camp and was in a good spot, and um, you know, thus far has not been good enough. And game was tough, game script wise, got out of hand a little bit. They got their pass rush going. It's a really good defensive front. Um, we knew what they were capable of doing in the pass rush and, and we put ourselves in a bad spot as well. And that makes it hard when you're, you know, you got to drop back and you're up they're you know, they're, they're up two scores. They get to pin back and play. And that's, that's the, that's the dream scenario for them with the way that they're playing football and they did a great job and then we didn't. So that's about the best I can answer it. Where do you go from here at right tackle? Um, we'll see what JD can do. Uh, it's, We'll let him. We'll come back. To it. We'll see where where we can get better. But at the end of the day, um, you know, JD came in. I don't know. I, I can't. It was a tough spot to go in. So we'll see. But yeah, I think it's a, uh, that job is is not solidified by any stretch. What you feel like happened on the uh, on the pick six early? Was that just a good play by the defense there? Or uh, I just called a good play. Did you? I mean, with Alexander sitting on that, did you not see him, or did you not think he was? Uh, I thought he had enough access to, you know, I threw it, on, threw it on time, I thought, put it on the outside shoulder. I think I watched the film, but maybe I could have done a better job of just seeing him stay put and throw it over his head. But, you know, quick game, we're trying to take the easiest hitch there, and I uh, thought I had it and obviously didn't. How much, I guess, when you look at the today, how much do you give credit to them for making plays? How much, again, on this team for not doing his job well enough and, and making mistakes? Uh, yeah, no, it's great defense. Um, obviously, the unscouted looks, I feel like played into their advantage a little bit today. We weren't ready for a couple of those things, and I got to be, be able to do a better job reacting to a couple of those things. You know, they're masking a couple of those looks. You know, run it, we were running man plays in the zone, and um, I just got to be better of when those things happen, of finding the completions and, and knowing where our options are. But 
Uh, I haven't watched it yet, obviously, and we'll see kind of if there were things that I had missed or could have done better in those areas. But I'll give credit to them. But we definitely didn't do you know our job on offense to the best of our ability. How frustrated are you? How frustrated are you with yourself that this team hasn't been able to get over the hump yet? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm you know I'm this team's quarterback. Uh, every time we take the field and succeed or you know or defeated, I feel like it's on me. So. It's, uh, really, you know, at least I am a big part of that, and I know that, and I have to make sure that I, you know, bring my A game every Sunday to not put our team in tough spots like I have in these few games with the few plays I've made with turning the ball over, and uh, it's tough. Um, you know, I can only look inwardly uh, as to what I can do and then also just do my best to rally everybody else around me, but, uh, yeah, it's tough. I'm the quarterback of an 0-3 football team. That's not something that anyone ever wants to say. Will, during the week you mentioned needing to, like, rewire your what does that process look like, and, and how, do you, how can you streamline that in the season? Uh, yeah, it's not like anything that I feel like I can actually like you know talk to a sports psychologist and like fix it like that. It's it's just getting better. It's just getting better and trusting my process and you know and, and how I approach my preparation for a game. And, and I think throughout this past week, I did a good job with me and my coaches of adding that layer of preparation and of just getting the extra mental reps of situational football and just things that you can maybe remind yourself before certain plays and situations to not put your team in a worse spot. Um, so yeah, uh, just continuing to work on that and getting better in that area. How much Will, of a challenge is it going to, to get any kind of comfort or rhythm when the pressure is like it was today, especially in the second half? Uh, yeah, no, I just got to, you know, react to it and uh, just play with what I have. And uh, obviously, it's not going to be a clean pocket every time. I know that. And I got the confidence in those guys to give me the time that I need. But um, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's making me better too, though. It's knowing that you know, when there is something in your face and you can't read it out with the timing that you need to to get back to the check down. I feel like there were a couple of plays today that were like that, that were good to see, um, just because you need to make those type of plays when those things happen. And you can save them, essentially. And I think those were plays last year where I might have just been holding onto the ball and taking the sack where uh, we improved a little bit there, I guess. But uh, yeah, it's um, something that we all got to get better on. And I know those guys up front take a lot of pride in what they do, and they want to come in next week and show that you know they're better than what they put on tape today. On the scoring drive, it seemed like you found a rhythm with the scoring drives today. Were there some looks that you liked, or maybe there were plays that were called that you liked? A little more comfortable with? Uh, no, I think just our openers, we were very comfortable with them, and we knew kind of how that first drive was going to look if we were going to get it going, and it was great. Uh, it was great for us to respond to their opening score and go down and, and make it happen. And uh, I think that was, the other one was just like uh, we were able to just kind of start dropping back and throwing it a little more, and that was fun just to be able to kind of read things out and um, take what they give me. And uh, a few concepts we had up were – were dialed up, so that was nice. And uh, I think I just could have done a better job of that towards the end. I was just kind of pressing, trying to get a big one. And uh, yeah, I don't know what that is. but um, Yeah, it sucks, but um, I feel like those two drives were a lot of fun, and we got to do more of that. Were you surprised at all by just the defense today? That, you know, they've stopped the run fairly well throughout two games, and clearly not able to do that today with Willis. Oh, our defense, sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah they, they played well offensively on, on Green Bay. Malik played a good game. He you know, didn't turn the ball over, and uh, they ran the ball pretty well. So um, we only had, I think, 18 plays in that first half, and that's credit to them to be able to maintain that possession and, and run the ball well. Um, and on us, we're, we're handing it to them with, with turnovers. So uh, we're last in the league in turnovers, no, no turnovers on our end. Uh, you're not going to win football games when it's like that. Brian Callahan, without hesitation, said that you're the quarterback moving forward. But he also said that they can't continue to lose games with that amount of turnover. So for you personally, where are you at confidence-wise, as well as a sense of urgency to get things turned around to maintain your position? Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm still confident. I, he's said it again in the locker room. Like, um, it just it, it, something needs to click with this team, and we're just waiting for it. And we, I think our week of practice and how we handled ourselves this week, uh, we had an excellent week of practice. We really thought that this was going to be you know, our, our turning point, and it sucks that it, it wasn't. But you know, we're going to keep working every day to try to make it happen next week, re recuperate on the bye week, and then have a great last 14 weeks of the season. Do you feel at all like you're maybe 
pressing, trying too hard to make things happen? Uh, not until that last pick. I mean, down a couple scores, I just we're, I'm trying to get an explosive, and I don't know, but <laughs> just don't throw it. Take take whatever the completion, but uh, no, I didn't feel like I was pressing at any point other than that play, maybe. Yeah, I saw him right afterwards, and we, we talked, and I was. Yeah, I think that obviously they did some things that our defense wasn't 100% um, prepared for, and that's that's on him for being able to execute those things and put the ball in play, and like I said, just protect the football. Um, so happy for him. Uh, when he got in there last week, I was pumped for him, and then obviously just rooting for him other than when he plays us. So, uh, yeah, it was great to see him afterwards, him and Sean, who was kind of a cool little reunion for me. So, yeah.